left of the box. Okay, so we have members of the NDP and we know where they more or less stand when it comes to the issue of Palestinians and Israel. And we have a lot of really good progressive members within that party. And we all pretty much know where the conservatives stand when it comes to the issues of Palestinians and Israel and, you know, their their genocidal war hungry party as well. So we kind of know where they stand. The liberals, though, they tend to be eh, a little bit this, a little bit that. They have some members that are raging Zionists and they have some members that just don't say anything. <laughs> but... Here's a prime example of liberal Zionism. Just some of the, uh, oh, how do you say it? The mentality behind the party. You know, they're not going to be the party that really does anything to call out Israel and what they're doing. Not unless we absolutely force them to. <laughs> So, uh, Tory, the lefty Canadian radical, had brought this to my attention, as in, I, I follow a lot of her tweets, and I found this, and it's like, oh, okay. And so, the former Ontario Liberal Party leader, I feel like Liberals killing off the hook quite a bit for the fact that they have people like this and Crombie lead their party. Then they pretend it's a progressive one. So, right now, they have Bonnie Crombie, who is the leader of their unofficial party status party and not a great leader most people well that's just the liberals but before her was Stephen del duca now tell me that is not a sith lord name i that's all i could think about during the last election was del duca that is such a sith lord name and it turns out kind of yeah this is Stephen Del Duca there. This guy is auctioning Palestinian land in Canada. That's the former leader of the Ontario Liberal Party auctioning Palestinian land in Canada. He uses the we don't have to agree on everything card before he is reminded that everyone should be against genocide. Auctioning Palestinian land has become a public event. His name is Stephen Del Duca, and he is the current mayor of Vaughan. So as with most uh, former party leaders, once they step down, they usually become mayor. Like um, Andrea Horbath is now mayor of Hamilton. It's quite a common theme because they use the publicity they got as party leader to then become mayors. So let's listen to this, shall we? We do not have to agree on every single issue. Yeah, genocide. There, There's only one correct side with that one. It's not a both sides issue. Genocide is bad though. Again? Genocide is not an issue. It's illegal real estate events selling illegal properties and people selling them. Confirmed by Canada. That's not an opinion. That is not a matter so, of opinion. So, what's taking place in the part of the world, in the Middle East, that you are concerned about? Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Name it. Okay. In Israel. In Gaza. Palestine. In Palestine. In Israel. Palestine. It's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking? Yeah, he's refusing to say the word. Every single loss of innocent life. Palestinian, Arab, Christian, Muslim, Jewish, Israeli. Is heartbreaking for everybody. If only there was a way for a lot of that killing to stop. You know, if something could be done to, you know, lessen that death toll and maybe get aid in. If only, you know, I wonder what's causing the continuation of this killing. Huh, Steve? Del Duca? Uh, 
Sorry, what did this asshole just say? Have some respect! How about you have some respect for his ass? How about you have some respect for his ass? How about you have some respect? respect for a Zionist. That's what I heard. I don't know if that's what he said. Or just, I did hear the part where he says, have some respect for. Uh, fill in the blank there. Just absolutely disgusting that this is the length that people have to go to. Like, you can hear the desperation in her voice. She has family being slaughtered right now. And here we have the former leader of the Liberal Party of Ontario auctioning off Palestinian land. Like, how disgusting is that? I have respect for someone who allows illegal real estate events to take place in this country. Listen, I've heard listen, by Canada as illegal. And how can you support the police? The gentleman who was using the nail gun outside of the protest should have been arrested. And that was offensive and horrible, and he should be charged. And I'm glad why I'm being arrested. He's really bringing that up now? as like, oh, look, we can call out our own. There was a story that I covered a while back of when these auctions were happening in other places, synagogues, mostly synagogues in Ontario, and a Zionist went to one of the protesters and attempted to attack them with a nail gun. Nobody was injured, I believe. Nobody, and nobody, you know, was severely injured, at least. But, you know, here he is, it's like, oh, but we called him out and said that was bad. So, you know, we're on the good side here. Like, it's, it's you know, we're willing to call out our own. <laughs> it's like, oh, it only takes an attack with a nail gun, huh? What an asshole. It's up, it's up to police to demonstrate. They make the decision. Every Palestinian will die. Every Palestinian will die. Do you not see that that's a hate crime? I feel safe. 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 No, no, it's not that I don't believe you. My, my problem. Okay, I'm going to move to the next question. Yeah, it's okay. You can't hide. We charge you with genocide. You can't hide. We charge you with genocide. You can't hide. We charge you with genocide. Free, 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 Oh my god, what did I sign up for? Ah, uh, Maybe don't go to an event where they're selling off Palestinian land. Hmm? Free, free, Gaza! 40,000 people dead! 40,000 people dead! Aw, they look so uncomfortable. They should be. Free, free, Gaza! 40,000 people dead! 40,000 people dead! Aw, they look so uncomfortable. They should be. Yeah, all these people at this event are just getting so upset that they keep on getting interrupted while trying to sell off Palestinian land during an ongoing genocide. And it's like, can't we just have this auction in peace? Huh? Is that too much to ask for? Wow, like, I can't understand the mentality of somebody who would go to an auction like that. I just recently watched Zone of Interest. And here, I'm just going to switch back to the screen. Disturbing movie of just how people came to a, accept the the slaughter that was happening right next to them. But this kind of reminds me of the scene in the movie where they have a bag of clothing that they're going through to select which they, you know, oh, this is nice. We'll keep that. We'll keep that. And I'm pretty sure you can guess who that clothing was from. How is what these people in this audience, how is that any different? That they are sitting there and bidding on land with people who have been slaughtered that aren't there anymore. This land has been stolen from them. People have been killed. And here they are auctioning off the land that they occupied. Really disturbing.
don't want them to have you to have the corruption. I'm tired of corruption. I'm tired of corruption. I want you to do it. Law after law after law has been just wow <laughs> to be able to do that oh so so horrible that they they think it's okay to be selling off this land while there's currently a genocide happening like it's never okay but my god just wow wow